Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm really scared that someone's gonna hear me talking. So anyway, yeah, welcome back to this vlog. I'm so awkward in intros. I think every single intro I do is a fail. And then it's like, anyway. This is going to be a show vlog for once because we're finally going to a show and it's gonna piss down. So I don't know if it's actually gonna happen because there might be thunderstorms. But anyway, hopefully we're going to a show tomorrow. I'm about to ride him. It's like five o'clock. I've got 30 minutes before it gets dark and then I'm gonna pat him later. It's um, the night before, obviously. Well, not, I don't know. Anyway, I will catch up with you later. Destination. I got in trouble for asking to buy a uniform, guys, because I was unprepared. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do my usual voiceover and I'm also going to read to you what the judge wrote on the sheet. So for his entry, he got a six and a half. He was pretty tense, as you can see. Um, but the judge just wrote, straight entry, quarters to the right in hold, well ridden. And then, what's next? For his, hang on, we'll wait until we actually get there. So it was quite a tense test. It definitely wasn't that bad but it definitely could have been better and I don't think the puddles were helping um, so for that turn he got a six slight loss of balance little tense and then across the diagonal he got oh that was all in one she just said fairly straight hxf so you can see he's just very tense and I probably also tensed up which didn't help and then coming up is the first serpentine, which was probably the better one of the two because the next one was after a canter. Anyway, he had a little moment there. That was nice. But for this serpentine, he did get a seven, and these serpentines were double marks. That he's, yeah, he just could have done that a lot better. Um, a little against the hand, balance lost, I'm guessing. Yeah, I can't even re read a lot of what she's written because I'm terrible at reading what the What what are they called what the pencil is right because it's so written so quick anyway For that transition he got a six and a half can't oh, 
palm transition quarters slightly in this canter his canter isn't that bad it's probably one of his strongest i think it's probably his strongest pace um it was a little bit fast and unbalanced but he he wasn't as tense he didn't feel as tense down the long side he kind of lost it a little bit and then for this downward transition he got a seven um and the judge just wrote hesitant to trot and then for the before k walk and for his medium walk he got a six and a half calm transition a little tense yeah, his medium walk wasn't great and his free walk was not very good either. He didn't really stretch at all except for at that very beginning. So he got a five and a half for that. I can't really read what she wrote. Little tense jog at M. That's all I can read from what she wrote there. And yeah, he went wonky right before M. And then this medium walk was terrible. He broke into trot, so that was nice. Oh, that was the five and a half as well. That transition was nice. I was actually really happy with that. He got an eight for that and she just wrote calm transition. And then he broke into canter like three times, I think, during the second serpentine. So that would have lost us a lot of marks because those, um, those ones were double. So he got a five for this second serpentine. Judge wrote broke at H, balance, lost, last loop, well recovered, broke at E. So, yeah, I was not very happy with that serpentine. But he does tend to get a lot tenser after he canters, and especially in a test, it's just, we just need to ride them more. Thanks, good videoing there, Bo. And for that second canter transition, where is it? He got a six, calm transition, slight head, to head tilt to the left. For this circle, he got a six and a half, um, a little against the hand balance and I think that's meant to say that my circle wasn't is a good shape I don't know I can't really tell anyway uh, how was this transition yeah he went a bit behind there like he tends to do especially when he gets tense for that transition he got a six and a half hesitant to trot and then for the long rain trot i thought this was terrible he barely stretched at all compared to how he can stretch and he just got fast on the second half and i had to shorten my reins again <laughs> uh, and then he tries to snatch them back and then he goes behind the vertical again anyway he got a seven for that which i thought was quite generous um little loss of balance fair attempt at stretch retakes reins well and then we're just about to go back down the center line which he got a six and a half for this center line. Yeah, not terrible. Just being against the hand and tense and hollowing his back. Balance, re-entry at A, straight center line, halt almost square. So now show jumping, he was actually very good for this. The warm up, he was terrible, so I thought I was gonna die. But once we got in there, he was really quite good. Um, there, he was a little bit naughty over the first jump, but for the rest of the course, he was pretty good for the most part. I was definitely not on my game. I forgot the course twice and he just completely saved my butt. So anyway, coming round to jump number two, this wasn't very nice. I gave him a kind of long spot and he did one of his like leap into the air, tuck his head into his chest, which is just so hard to ride when he does that. And then this double was set up to one big one stride or two small strides. So the first time we did it, we got two small strides, which was definitely nicer than when we did the one stride, which you'll see in the jump off. This jump was really nice. Um, we got a nice stride to it and he jumped it nicely. 
and I can't even remember what's next. <laughs> Got him a bit deep there, but he was very good. He made sure not to touch any of the poles. Um, and he can see he tries to tuck his head into his chest, which he just tries to do so that I can't stop him because when his head is in his chest, I have nothing to pull on. So that's just Turbo's little quirk. He literally does it even if I'm not pulling on the reins. And then this is where I forgot where I was going and I thought I was in the jump off already. And then I realized I had one more jump and I didn't know where the jump was. So then I was trying to work out how to get to the jump. With, that was a cute flying change. I was trying to work out how to get to the last jump without crossing my tracks. So that's what I'm doing here. And poor Turbo is like, what the heck are you doing? You stupid rider. And, yeah, good job, Turbo, change your backs. <laughs> oh, that was just a bit disastrous. It's because I had the jump off in my head and then I forgot the actual course. And it just was not great. And then I didn't know whether I was actually in the jump off, but apparently I was because I didn't cross my tracks. So then the jump off, I forgot the last jump as well, same as I did in the course. And when he does the double, oh, my goodness, Turbo. You can see when I try and stop him, he literally just tucks his head in. Anyway, this double, he got it in the one stride and did a massive leap over the second part. So that was not very pretty. And here I forgot which jump I was supposed to go to. And then I was going to it and I was like, oh, am I supposed to go to this? And then basically at the last minute, I told him to jump it. And he was such a good boy for going over it and still going double clear through this whole course, even with me being really not that great of a rider. Here's Turbo. So cute. We took his plaits out and he doesn't have curly hair. Quite sad. So guys, Turbo went clear and I forgot my course twice. <laughs> so basically Turbo's the star. I'm tragic. What time is it? It's like 12 o'clock nearly. And did I say that I forgot my course twice? I think I did. Yeah, he was double clear in show jumping and I forgot the course twice. So that was great. And now we're done. And it's 12 o'clock and I have to wait until 1 to do my bloody helper duty. But it stopped raining at least. But we're both soaked because we forgot to bring spare clothes. <laughs> So obviously we're back home now and changed into warm clothes. I was literally freezing. Anyway, I'm just gonna give like a debrief properly of the day because I didn't really talk that much because I hate talking to my phone in front of people. Um, okay, what am I talking about? My brain is like, I'm just so tired. And I have got my heater here, so I'm not turning it off, but I'm sorry if that's making the sound not great, but it's freezing, so it's staying on. Anyway, dressage first. He came third with 64.107%. Um, it definitely could have been a lot better, but considering that was our first dressage test that we've done competitively together, not that bad. Could have been worse. Um, he was just very tense, but considering the weather and also the arena was a puddle. Only on one half for some reason, but anyway. So he was actually quite good. He got mostly like six, six and a half. He got one five. He got an eight for his um, walk to trot transition at C. That was quite nice. The five he got was um, the second serpentine he did, which you would have seen. He broke into canter, I think, twice, which was annoying, but whatever. Could it? I mean, he could have done a lot worse. In the warm-up he was like cantering and in the canter transition he would like pig root and 
um, crow hop. So that was fun. I think the ground was just like really muddy outside in the warm up. So he didn't like it. Anyway, so that was the dressage, third place. Not bad. I was like reasonably happy with that test. And then we had jumping. Um, it was, it's, uh, what am I saying? It was 75 centimeter, which he can easily do, but it was our first, well, this was our first competition actually ever. We've done two show jumping rounds before though, training days. Basically he was very good. He went clear. In the warm up, he was being an absolute mental case. He was like trying to get me off after every, not trying to, uh, he was just getting excited after every jump and like putting his head between his legs and bunny hopping and crow hopping, whatever you want to call it. But then he was actually good once we got in the arena, so that was nice. I forgot the course twice because I had to learn a jump off and whenever I learn a jump off, I always have the jump off in my head and then I forget my actual course and I forgot the same jump both times. So it was the last jump of the course, but I made sure not to cross my tracks so we didn't get eliminated. Anyway, I forgot it and then everyone was calling it out to me. So then I found it. And then I forgot it again in the jump off. And I forgot the jump off. I was like in front of the jump and I was like, wait, is this my jump? And then I went to start walking and I was like, nah, just go. And I gave him the worst setup for it. Like it was such a slow trot. And I was like, okay, go. And he just jumped it like a legend. He kind of had to like, oh, he you'll see in the video. It was, he tried very hard to not knock any poles, which he didn't. He went clear. And he got third place for jumping actually, which was very good considering I forgot the course twice. So he was a good pony in jumping. I was just not great. So overall, pretty good. Our first competition, we got two thirds. I always get third places for some reason. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I don't know how much videos I actually took, if it'll end up being a longer vlog. I feel like I didn't take many videos. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.